Hey, thanks for tuning in. Scooters, how can I help you today? Hi, good morning. I'd like a large uh, latte made with non-fat milk, no foam. Add real honey to that. Definitely. And then, do you still have oatmeal? We do. Can I have some of that? You sure can. Thank you. Honestly, I think me and you are good for a while. Since <laughs> they took off the menu like nobody else's order. Yeah. We're straight. <laughs> Is that all for you? Yeah. Cool. See you up here. Okay. Thank you. You too. Bye. Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Uh, this is going to be a very, very busy weekend. We have to get to the booth. The booth is having a big holiday open house sale and it's a time where you put a percentage off in your booth and you sell the items in there um, at a discount. I'm offering a 10% um, discount on both my booth. So I need to get in there and refresh the booth and get some more stuff in there, some goodies in there to sell. To sell. Um, so we have to go through all the inventory I have um, and do that before tomorrow. Today happens to be Friday. Happy weekend vlog. <laughs> um, so that means we have a very short window of time to to find some things and get some things priced and head to the booth before they close because I work. Um, it happens to be a work day. So I get off at in between 4.30 and 5. So as soon as I get off, I have to run home and see what we have uh, in inventory so we can get it to the booth. The booth closes at 8, I think, 7 or 8. And so we need to be able to get the stuff there in time. Yes, we can go Saturday morning. I just don't want to be throwing things in the booth when people are shopping. Um, and if you can't tell, I'm a bit nasally. I got a little bit of a cold. It's not COVID, I tested. <laughs> but I do have a little bit of a cold up here in the nose. So. I hope that as the vlog goes on, I start feeling better. But I'm on my way to work. And when I'll see you when I get off of work. <laughs> That was a day. Um, it was kind of a busy day. I didn't get to really eat my lunch. Um, I worked through my lunch. I usually tried to go for a walk, a 30 minute walk um, during my lunch time, just because, you know, it kind of refuels me. Anyway, I didn't get my walk in and it's, and it's been a day exhausted <laughs> and it looks like i'm a shiny hot mess which i am anyway so now that the work day is over with let's have fun let's go through our inventory and see what we need to do um for our booth and see what kind of you know fun stuff that we can get to our booth so let's go let's go home Truth be told, my booth is an 8 by 10 so I was really hoping, when I got the second booth, my, my desire, my deep in my heart, I really wanted a booth side by side, two booths side by side, so I can make it into 
bigger because what I was thinking about what would be really cool for like Thanksgiving and Christmas and stuff like that is to create like a dining tablescape and I have a bunch of plates that I had gotten from auction some time ago that I'd like to put into my booth but it just didn't feel right it just didn't fit so I was kind of hoping when I got that second booth that I could have two booths together and it could be a nice big area right now it's you know two different booths in like one in the middle of the store and one at the very beginning of the store so you know how I have that second kid booth I'm thinking that I need to change that so that I'm not really selling a lot of kid things making that into like a kind of display area you know how like when you go into like I don't know like Macy's or Dillard's or you know any of the fancy stores you know how they have kind of like a display area all displayed and dialed up with all the stuff that they're selling maybe I should do that maybe I should make that booth more into you know a tablescape or a living room or a, a, a bedroom or you know it's just a display of the stuff that I'm I'm selling and then refer them back to my other booth for the surplus stuff that I have. I don't know. Maybe I can do that this time around. I don't have a lot of time to kind of revamp it, um, but I have a little bit. Maybe that's what I should do. Or maybe I should wait until the first of the year so many decisions to make when you're a small business owner. I'm thinking. Hi, Rizzy. Hi. Hi, girl. Oh my goodness, look at all the leaves. Hello. All right, guys, it is 8.05, and obviously we did not make it to the boot today, but I was able to go through some of my inventory um, to see what I have, and I got a lot of stuff. So I think a good idea is just to take some bits and pieces, a little bit here and there, to the booth and just kind of do some daily drop-offs. I don't know. It's a lot of stuff. But I have a lot of Christmas stuff too that I still need to get out. I don't want to fill up the booth too much for the sale um, just because I want some of the old stuff to move out so I can bring new stuff in. But I do want to get some more items to go into the booth just to make it a little bit more refresh. And then I think I like our idea that we talked about in the car, you know, using one booth as a display and then the other booth as a stock. I don't know uh, how I can pull that off tomorrow because the sale starts. They open up pretty, I mean, it's early. It's early morning. It's not like seven. What time do they open? I think it's eight they open. I'll double check. Um, 
but we can get there first thing in the morning and put some of this stuff out and kind of move some things around. Anyway, let's get pricing some of the stuff that I pulled up from our inventory so we can have some fresh items in our booth tomorrow. And we'll just kind of see how our booth is doing. I haven't been there since last week and we cleaned it up a little bit. So we'll see what stuff sold and kind of replenish some stock. Kind of wanted to go through my old Christmas stuff and get rid of the stuff that I no longer am going to use for our Christmas decorations because there's a lot of decorations that I'm starting to buy this year to kind of transition my decor style a little bit and a better way to get rid of the other stuff is to put it in the booth. Let's get to pricing these goodies. Kind of excited, side note. <laughs> I'm kind of excited about these that I found when I was out thrifting. These are hand painted, um, it says ornaments, but they're basically tree toppers. Isn't that gorgeous? Kind of almost low key <laughs> when I keep it for myself. Let's see. Look at this one. I think half the time finding this stuff is, you know, more fun for me. And then this guy here. And then we have a green one. So I absolutely adore these. So lucked out because some of these are priced from last year that didn't sell so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw these in the booth and I am super happy that it still has a price tag on it but that's what I did last year is I just put a, a piece of twine around these napkins and put a price tag on it so isn't this cute the cute plaid some fun linens and these are just your traditional um, canvas not canvas but nice oh, it kind of feels like canvas red napkins but isn't that cute I found these at a um, oh wait this was an auction a whole box full of linens isn't that cute? Look at that. Gold. I'm not really into um, this kind of mustard brownish yellow, but I've seen a lot of ladies on um, YouTube that are buying the velvet ribbon that is in this color. So wouldn't that look cute on somebody's table? Driveway, it's a Saturday night. You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like. You're smiling, but there's something missing in your eyes. Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind. But I will make you forget all your sorrows. Let go like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade. If you're ready for a good time, count on me. There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away. I'm all about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. All right, honey, bye. Welcome to Starbucks. What can I get started for you today? I, 
I like a large latte made with non-fat milk and no foam in that, please. Is that going to be hot today? It will be hot. For you. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Saturday. Um, we did not get to make it to the booth yesterday because it was, well, because there was traffic going there. Um, the traffic was stopped all the way to my house. I can see the highway from where I turn off to go into my subdivision. And there was a traffic jam all the way um, up the road, up the highway for a couple of miles. And that's my only way to get there. Um, and I didn't want to sit in traffic for an hour. So we went through our stuff last night. As you can tell, I threw some clips of us going in. Oh, do you want to see what I just put on my lips? It's... I love this lip gloss. It's a collagen base and a clean base uh, lip gloss. I love Fit Glow. Most of my skincare products and most of my makeup, if you want to call it makeup, um, is from Fit Glow. And I just, I happen to really adore that makeup brand. Um, I have a story about that, but I can tell you a different time if you really truly want to know. I buy the Fit Glow from the Detox Market and not actually from the Fit Glow site because I had a bad customer experience with, you know, the 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 site itself trying to return something. Um, and I've never had that problem with the detox market. So that's why I buy most of my Fit Glow from the detox market instead of the Fit Glow site itself. But that's neither here nor there. That's not part of what we're talking about today. That's, you know, squirrel side note. Today we are at the town square. They open up at nine. I was wrong when I said eight yesterday. It is nine o'clock, nine to seven, and it is currently 9.20. So we need to get in. We're 20 minutes from the doors opening. And it looks like there's a couple of cars in the parking lot. I want to get the stuff in before it starts getting really super jam packed and it will. It's a Saturday. Saturday and Sundays tend to be a really busy day. So I want to get my little rolly cart and the stuff that we priced last night. I'd like to get that in there very, very soon. <laughs> and then we can go on to our days because we have a very, very big day. We do. Um, usually in the morning, I like to work out. It's the first thing I do in the morning. It's It used to be extravagant workout, right? An hour long workout, but as I get older, um, it's about 20, 30 minutes. It probably should be a little bit longer, but right now, 20, 30 minutes fit into my time, time frame. I usually work out in the morning. This morning, I did not because I wanted to get here on time and I was still printing out some pricing stickers to go onto um, our plates and stuff. So I finished that up um, and loaded up the car and got coffee. And now we're here. As you can tell, I'm still a little nasally. I am feeling so much better. Um, but if I don't sound like myself, that's why I got that little cold still kind of lingering. It's, it's, I've had it since Monday and today is what Saturday. So it's, it's lingering, but today is a big day. 
after we're done with the town square, I would, since we're in Winsville and it does have a Michael's there and a, I think it's a Kohl's or a Home Goods or something. I'd like to go in there. I'm trying to find the Real Touch Garland. I went online to Kirkland's and they're sold out. So I would like to find the Real Touch Garland and I'm trying to find it. I can order it online. I think it's $79 though. I'd like to try to see if I can find it in a couple of stores. Since we're already out in this area, I would like to see if we can find it. Other than going to our stores here in Winsville, I want to get home, exercise first of all. I need to get that done today. And then I would really like to work on the doors of the laundry room. You guys know I'm trying to finish it up. It is November. I thought I'd be done by the end of October. I'm just kind of paralyzed with the decision of what kind of doors I want. Um, do I want the, just the flat panel doors or do I want to learn how to make the, the dovetail drawers? Um, the doors, sorry, doors. Um, I don't, I, I think I'm just gonna go with flat doors and I know that so I read an article about how you can tell a novice woodworker to an expert woodworker and they were looking at cabinet doors and a novice woodworker which I am <laughs> uh, has just you know a flat panel door and yeah I liked you know, I like a little detail on the doors, but this is just the basement um, cabinet. So I feel like a, a flat panel door would just work appropriately. I don't, I don't, I, mm, you know, I'm not trying to betray that I'm anything but me. <laughs> and I'm hoping you guys can learn a little bit about stuff from what I do, you know, um, but I, I don't know. So I'm paralyzed with the thought of what kind of door panels to put on the cabinets. Just to say that this job project is done, I think I'm just gonna do the square panel doors. I'm telling you all this because we gotta go to the hardware store if we're doing that because I looked at the leftover wood I had from making the cabinet box and I only have enough for a shelf that goes in it which means we'll have to ask Joe to go to the hardware store so we can buy some wood. That's what we need to do. Um, I know he has a headache today, so I would like him to not have a headache. We'll check back with him and his headache later to see if it's gone, to see if he would like to go to the hardware store with me and buy a sheet of plywood so we can make these doors and be done with the laundry room. Minus counter. <laughs> There's always like a next step, next step. But I do wanna be done with the laundry room so I can move to the kitchen. I made a mood board for the kitchen and I know what I want to do in the kitchen. So I'm like chomping at the bit. It's like clawing at me to get started. But I do want to get one job done before I start the other job. I think that would be the smart thing to do. Anyway, let's get in to Town Square um, and, and get this stuff in there and start with our other to-do list. This is a must if you own a booth so you can load it up and carry stuff in and out. It is a godsend. I got this at Costco? No, I got this at uh, Home Goods, actually. And it is the best money that I could actually ever spend. See what I mean? It is the best thing I could have ever bought. Oh. 
for this year. The simple one. This. The simple one. This is my favorite. somebody accidentally on film and uh, I can I can work really fast let's go to the other booth and put the other stuff in there and then we can come back to this booth and kind of spruce it up some more if it needs it come on let's go Okay guys, it's not perfect. It's not what I want it to look like, but the first of the year, we're gonna make some changes, but right now, I think this, this is good enough. Okay, we are back in uh, the main booth, and I put some of the Christmas stuff up. I know it has fall. I would like to get some of that fall stuff out with the sale, and put more Christmas stuff in. But I think for now, I think I got everything minus a couple of doilies we're going to put like right there. And then we're going to skedaddle. But before we skedaddle, I thought it would only be fair to show you what some of the booths look like here. So you can get a little bit of experience of this area. So let's put the rest of the stuff up and then I'll show you little clips of this antique mall. By the way, I shop for my booth all the time and 
I try to put things here that people may buy. I give them the option to buy it first. But if, they, if it doesn't sell, I take it home and I use it. Such as this. This brass vase is heavy. And I have it marked for 22. I feel like that that's a good deal. And then this is a Hager vase, actually. So it is a, a brand... There we go. It is actually a vintage and brand base. So I'm going to take these two home with me. It's white and it's brass. Totally my vibe. I'm going to take it home and use it. Just living off the edge Only good times ahead So let me put a smile upon your face Maybe make your worries go away This is such a cute idea if you want vintage Christmas She always has things displayed, so cute. This is definitely hashtag goals.
<laughs> it's so windy outside. Oh, I am slightly exhausted, but the Steeler did it again. Um, this was just a bunch of random cards my kids had and I just put it in like a little grab bag for $4. And just random cards here and there. They didn't make any sense, but um, yeah, it was a stack of this and now there's only just a couple left. So it's just, it's frustrating, you know, because I still have to pay booth rent. I still have to pay commission on all my sales. And, you know, people steal. You know, kind of, kind of makes me sad. I know it's part of doing business, but ugh. anyway, I am hungry. I haven't ate yet. I know we have so much to do. So before we start running around, I'm gonna get something and then we are going to do some uh, garland shopping. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed those little clips of the antique store. I could spend forever in there. And if I, you know, showed you every booth and all the stuff in there, I, we would be in there. That's a, a couple of videos in of itself. So I'll try to, you know, hit a couple of booths here and there and kind of highlight some of the stuff. But it is just too big and jammed pack full of stuff. Too much to show in one little video. But let's go garland shopping. Let's feed the belly. And hopefully make some doors for the cabinet. <laughs> and exercise. We got to get that in there too. Let's go. Oh God, this is huge. It's bigger than my head. You want a bite? <laughs> it, this is the veggie Mediterranean sandwich from the St. Louis Bread Company. But I changed the bread because I don't like the bread that it comes on. This is the black pepper uh, focaccia bread, but I'm gonna eat this. Okay, I'm all done stuffing my face. <laughs> Let's run into Kirkland's and see if we can find that real touch garland and a white knitted stocking. Probably haven't told you this yet, I will be telling you this probably in a future vlog that will start tomorrow. However, spoiler alert, I am trying to redo my stockings and I want to find different kinds of white knitted stockings. And the reason why I'm doing it is um, when the kids were younger, I had, you know, certain stockings for them. But then as our family grew, our boyfriends, you know, wives, grandkids, um, I needed to add on and on and on. And now they're all mismatched. So I was thinking if I buy white stockings and they can be all mismatched, but they're still white knitted stockings, then as our family grows, you know, yearly, and if I need a stocking for somebody, I can just pick up a white knitted stocking and it doesn't have to match. It just has to be white knitted stocking. So that's kind of what my plan is to do. Let's see if we can find some white knitted stockings. I found a set of four at, um, what was it, Home Goods the other day. And I picked them up, but I, I want every one of those stockings to be different. So a set of four, there'll be four matching ones, but oh. Beggars shouldn't be choosers, right? So let's go into Kirkland, see if we can find the real touch garland and the stockings.
Okay, I know this is not a stocking, but I got the stockings for the cat and dog. But this, I want this for the entryway, which you guys will see in a future video. Yes, we're gonna pick this guy up. Also, I love, love this table. You may see me buy this soon. Not today, because it's $6.99, but soon. All right, guys, workout is done. It's all future projects <laughs> for you guys. Joe still has a headache, so we are going to go tomorrow to get the slab um, of wood that we need because this is all I have left here, and uh, that's not going to cut it. I need to make the doors, and I'm just going to do the straight doors because here's why the cabinet that we built there the doors are just straight as you can see in these two over here that I built um so I don't want one side to look different than the other that's what I'm telling myself anyway so we need to get a sheet of plywood so we can finish the Doors. I'm going to do one door here, one door here, open them up like, well, I can't do it with one hand. <laughs> open them up like those, you know, how you have the doors in and then you swing them out. So that's going to be that door here, door here. And I'm going to fix that. I'm going to fix this. Um, I just need to make it a sh this much shorter, that much shorter so I'm gonna have to redo it that's in the future I'm not worried about that right now what I'm going to worry about tomorrow is door 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 and then this can make one shelf and I need to make one more shelf other way we can paint it the rest of the way and be done with it yes be done with it and then in the future, guys, I'm gonna spin you around. I hope I don't make you sick. Okay, in the future, here's the light that we got from, we got that from Ikea. I wanna change it up. I wanna be a little bit more industrial. That's in the future, in the future. 
Um, right now I just want to get the base down. This house is old, so every room has to be completely, almost every room has to be completely redone. And it's kind of not like when you buy a builder grade house and all you have to do is worry about the pretty. Here we have to actually build walls, <laughs> you know, worry about lighting and all that stuff, build cabinets. So it's taken me a little bit of time, but we will get it done. And I don't know if you guys remember what it looked like in the past, but this, even though it looks like a shambles right now, this is so far better than what it was. I can't tell you how happy this room makes me just as it is. But once it gets all done and we have the cabinet over, whoop, my finger doesn't turn, the cabinet on this side and then I can put that cabinet back and put you know the storage up and clean up this mess here because all that goes in here I'll be a happy camper and then we can start on the kitchen oh biting at the bit but guys that is the end of this vlog I am going to start next vlog tomorrow so stay tuned um, and we can go through our little bits that we got today at the stores because I feel like this vlog is just way too long as it is. And we can work on this guy here. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking the video. It tells YouTube a lot when you do those two things and comment down below because I love chatting with you guys. Um, if not, it's just me talking to a camera, which, you know, I can talk all day long, but it's, I would rather talk to you guys. So chat with me in the comments and have an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed today and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.